Well, I just figured I'd let you listen in on the crowd here. Everybody's pumped up here at DF Burns. It's the final of the Abbey New Hook Division. And this is going to be a dandy game between two well-deserved teams making the final. Can't believe this tournament is over already. What a fun weekend it has been for all these young players. Whether they won or lost, they all had a great time and created memories for a lifetime. Well, again, Lachlan Colbert getting the crowd on their feet before the game has even started. It's the Abbey New Hook Championship game. Mount Pearl Blades have not made it to the final since 2013. And when they made it, they won it. A team led by Brady Walsh and Regan Hiscock led the Mount Pearl Blades to that Novice Select Championship in 2013. So they're looking to end an 11-year drought of a Novice Select Championship banner. St. John's Caps, last time they won was 2019, and the last time they made the final was 2019. They had to slay a dragon, which was the semifinals. They kept losing in the shootout in the semifinal round of the Northeast Eagles, and now in the first tournament, they don't face the Eagles. They make it to the final. So if there's any year the Caps can win it, it's this year. Caps and Blades played each other earlier in the tournament on Friday. Caps won three to one. So they're gonna have all the confidence in the world heading into this final. Mount Pearl started to get hot towards the end. And now they're looking to keep that momentum swinging into this final. Just look at that crowd. These fans are ecstatic. This tournament always got the best fans.
These players have always dreamed of making the Novice Select Final and making the team, and now here they are in the championship. Anyone can be a hero. Caps make their way out second. It's the final of the U9 Select Tournament. Blades looking to win their first title in 11 years. St. John's Caps looking to return to glory. Who is going to win? It's Caps versus Blades. Abbey New Hook Division Final. My name is Seth Hyde. Glad to have you joining us throughout this tournament. We have an icing call right away. Just nine seconds in. Pike will win the faceoff back. Put on net by Nash. Took a deflection. And now here come the Mount Pearl Blades. To get on the board first in the championship, it's Pearson getting forced to the outside by Cheater. Mount Pearl went 0-4 in last year's Novice Select Tournament. And now this year, here they are in the final. It's crazy how much a difference one year can make. Here's Pike taking it up the other way. Pike moving in and Joy with a big defensive play. And now it's Pearson coming up the other side. Nash with the interception in the neutral zone. He'll send it back in and Stag will pick it up. Dumped in for Pearson. He couldn't get a full stick on it. Cheater will swing it around. Comes out to the other side to Barnes. Tried to break it out and whipped back into the corner. Now Lewis trying to find it on the wall. It Breaks free and it's chipped off the boards and now here come the St. John's Caps up the other way. Trying to make something happen here. Sent in by Cheater. Swung around the boards and now up ice. Blades take it up the other way. Here comes Pearson racing in on net. Pearson comes in and a couple of great defensive plays there by the Caps to keep that puck out of the zone. Sent out to the point to Randall. Given away to Burns. Burns trying to take it up. Penny gonna send it back in. Fired up Ryder. Gonna play it over. In walks Taylor. Anna Claire Taylor trying to get the shot off. She keeps moving in and it's turned away. And Caps race after the puck up the other way. Winter, one of our Grit Award nominees. Hard after the puck in the championship. Sent up to Taylor. She tried to bring it into the zone. She had the game winner in the semifinal round. Scored the first goal of the game. Just 19 seconds in. Mount Pearl won that game 7 to nothing. Here's Winter trying to find White in front of the net. Caps played the CBR Renegades just before this and beat them 5-1 to one to get to the final. Here's White walking in off the post. Now it's Pesha, and he couldn't get the shot off. And it comes right up through the middle. Dumped back in by the Caps, and it is gonna be an icing call with 7.04 left to go in the first period. Well, all the anticipation will be over after this game, not just for who's gonna win the championship, but the Grit Award presentation will happen at the end of this game for both the Abbey and Alex Newhook division. Here's O'Keefe winning it through. O'Keefe trying to fire it on, takes a deflection. Cheater couldn't get there. 
Now it comes around the boards to Pike. Dumped in, Power. Gonna come in and try to take it now. Comes out to center ice. Caps trying to get it out to center. It's Pond who looks to play it into the zone. There's Keo swinging it around. Walsh gonna keep it in. Now it's thrown in front of the net. Pond gonna intercept. And now away she goes up the other way. Pond cuts back. Dawson going up the side. Dawson coming in with the puck, backhands it in. And it's turned aside by the Caps as Pike takes it down behind the net. Now a giveaway. Blades with an opportunity, a shot steered just wide again. And Stag to O'Keefe. O'Keefe walking in, takes the shot, rebound for Dawson and he couldn't get there. I was talking to Max O'Keefe. He wanted to know who the Grit Award winner was for the Abbey Newark Division. I said, I can't tell you. And his mom said to him, why don't you go show him why you're worthy? So Max out here trying to show us if he's worthy enough to win the Grit Award. We do have the winner picked. And he wanted to get a spoiler, but we couldn't tell him. Here comes Pike up the other way. Hall down in the middle. Stag going to get there. It comes into Nash. Nash gonna get to the bench. Caps with lots of space. Trying to make something happen. Turned over down behind the net and here's Barnes up the other way. Now Cheater. Has a look, Joy. Gonna try to keep it in, it comes out to center ice. Lewis gonna search for the puck. He had a hat trick against CBR this morning. And there's Pearson being chased by Lewis. Nice move from Pearson as he sends it up the middle and Tipped down the ice by O'Reilly Hillier. Now Hillier brought down. It's sent in front and it's nipped in the pad of Caps goaltender. Oh my goodness, how close was that? Simon Russell just barely gonna keep it out. My goodness, a goal in this game is harder to find than Eclipse Glasses. Nobody can find the back of the net yet. And let's see if that'll change here. There's Joy. He'll fire that one on and turn the side in net. Once again by Russell. There's Pearson walking in. Now White is going to intercept. Backhands it out in front. Kennedy winds up and shoots it. Hit a body. And Caps looking to clear. Pearson trying to grab it. It comes out to Kennedy and it makes its way out to center ice. Kennedy cuts back. Moves it forward. Backhander fanned on and now Winter going to play it in. There's Pearson up to Joy. Joy's going to send it down low. O'Reilly Hillier going to pick it up. It was O'Reilly Hillier. Now to Winter. Winter coming up the ice. He's still going with the puck. He'll swing it across. Couldn't find White in open ice territory. Now it's Pike coming in. Pike racing in, and he's called four offsides. With 3 12 left to go in the first period. Down behind the net, it's Taylor with the puck. She plays it up. Blades will send it down. And it'll just get there for an icing call with 2.56 left to go. Will who be the first one to find the back of the net in this game? It's gonna be interesting to see. Been back and forth so far. Unfortunately today, none of the games today have really been close score-wise. We had 5-1, 5-0, 7-0, and 6-2. So this has been the first really close one we've seen today. Breakers and Celtics was 1-0 after the first period. 
Comes down low to Pike. Pike comes out front, big stop. Wallace on the doorstep. And somebody shut the door on him. Now it's passed up ice. Taylor, she goes to ground. We'll swipe it in for Wilson. Wilson clears it out. Now Norman will pick it up at center ice. Norman backhands it ahead. Picked up by Taylor. Oh, Taylor gets hit by Hart into the boards and Hart is going to the penalty box with 2.19 left to go. And this first period, Mount Pearl on the power play. So Anna Claire Taylor is gonna be okay. So 2.19 left to go in the first. Mount Pearl are on the power play. O'Keefe's gonna win it through. Pass in front to Pond. Makes its way out to Ivany. Ivany gonna fire it on. Deflected, comes down, he scores! O'Keefe on the doorstep. The Mount Pearl Blades get first blood in the Abbey Newhook Division Final. Our Grit Award nominee shows why he's nominated. And he gets the blade on the board on the power play just 10 seconds in. Here's O'Keefe right away coming in again and he's brought down by Nash. Cheater up the middle. Here come the blades again. Dawson shoots. Rebound for O'Keefe. And Nash is there to clear it away. Dawson trying to get it back in. Sends it in on goal. Big save. And it makes its way out to the point. Here's Keo whipping it in. Pond trying to get a hold of the puck. Here's Dawson in front to Pond. Puck fish free by Pearson. And now Nash is going to play it ahead to Cheater. Cheater hits the pass up the middle, given away, and Ivany will send it back in deep. Here's Nash up to Lewis. Lewis trying to chip it out. Kept in by Pond. Pond swings it around for Cheater, who looks to clear. Now kept in out at the point. Here's Cheater. Sending it ahead for Lewis, and he couldn't get a long enough reach to grab the puck in time. And it is going to be an icing call with 58 seconds left to go. Here's Pearson, off the face off, five field, gonna intercept. Now it's Pearson coming in again. Look to get the shot off, he uses the body on the boards and it looks like he will go to the box. We'll have a Caps power play for the first time this game. Taylor winning the draw. Now it's Winter trying to put it on. It's White who's gonna try to get it out. O'Reilly Hillier now coming in. Backhander on net. Turned away and it's Taylor who gets the puck. Taylor bringing it forward and here's Fifield making a big defensive play. Lucas Fifield now playing it ahead to Winter. Winter going through everybody. Look at this guy go, he takes the shot and a big save. In goal by Wesley Reed. 
Now it's sent in front. Turn over to Taylor and given away in front right at the buzzer. Caps almost had an equalizer. The final score after one. One for the Blades, zero for the Caps after a thrilling first period of play. We are underway for our second period of play. Live from DF Barnes Arena, my name is Seth Hyde. Glad to have you joining us. Here's O'Keefe, shorthanded, and he couldn't get the shot off. And a big save by Simon Russell, just 13 seconds in. Sent around to Walsh. Wilson going down the middle. Played ahead, Penny. Tried to intercept the pass, and now here come the Caps up the other way. Pike coming in. Pike has it down low. Now he sends it back out to the point. Hart looked to get the shot off. A collision there in front. Now Caps bring it back in. In walks Pike. Pike has it down low, backhands it in front. And turned aside again as the Blades work it out. Pike throws it back in and a high stick against the Blades and another big stop. Face off one through right away. Blades make their way up the ice. Here they go, sent in deep. Just 20 seconds left to go on the power play for the St. John's Caps. The Caps have had an exceptional year. They won the Herder Championship. They just won the St. John's uh, Junior Hockey League title last night. So Caps have been two for two in major tournaments. Now let's see if they can win the U9 Selects to complete an incredible season for the Caps organization. We're back to even strength. Coming in is Taylor. Puck comes down in front and now it makes its way out to the point. Fired back in. Now sent back in and it's hauled in. And a beautiful save in goal by Russell. Pearson wins the draw. Winter gonna poke it away. Now the Caps come up the other side. And away they go. White trying to take it in. Pearson intercepts. White hauled down and we got a delayed penalty coming up here against the Mount Pearl Blades. So it's Casey Pearson off to the box for Mount Pearl for two minutes. Mm -hmm. 
Here's Winter. Trying to get it through, Fifield. Backhands it in, now it's Basha. Shoots off the side of the net. Here's Winter. He has a down low, Basha in front of the net, takes a shot and a block by Stag. Here's Winter. Looking to get it ahead, Joy to Basha. Basha trying to swipe it through, now Fifield. Puts it on net and a big save and goal by Wesley Reed with 7.30 left to go. Well, the electricity in these fans is so thick you could cut it with a knife. These fans are pumped for this game. And so are we. I mean, this has been an incredible tournament. Abby Newhook division has been so skilled again this year. Randall trying to get it out. Makes its way to Pike. Now Randall gonna get it again. Randall looks to clear, forced back into her own end. Played out to the point. Now Pike stepping up. He shoots just wide of the net. There's Randall. She looks to clear. And now it's Taylor. Anna Claire Taylor getting the puck down low. Just 40 seconds left to go on the penalty kill for the St. John's, or for the Mount Pearl Blades. There's Penny with it now, taking the shot, blocked by Hart. Pike gonna bring it back in. And they're taking it up the other way, up to Walsh. Walsh with Wilson coming down the wing alongside him. Walsh comes in and fires. Now it goes down low off the side of the net again. Caps can't buy a goal in this game. 10 seconds left to go on the power play for them now. Now coming up through the middle, Randall gonna take it over. And Icing waved off as we just get back to even strength. Mount Pearl heading for a change. It's Hart trying to lead the charge for St. John's. Shot from the corner. Turn the side and net, now it's O'Keefe. O'Keefe sends it in front, Pond, she scores! Pond puts it top shelf where Mom hides the cookies and the Mount Pearl Blades have a two goal lead in the Abbey Newhook Division Final. Well, the Mount Pearl Blades are 15 minutes away from winning their first title since 2013. Up by it goes. Now Lewis for the St. John's Caps coming in. Burns going to the net. He picks up the pass and puts it just wide of the net. Now it comes back out front. O'Keefe just going to clear it out to center. Nash going to get it into Lewis. Lewis has it down low, sending it in front. Nash stepping up, Henry Nash with the shot, blocked by Ryder. Here's Burns trying to dump it in. Trying to get it in deep, now the Blades looking to take it up the other way, tipped ahead and it's O'Keefe looking to bring it forward. Now Cheater trying to get it ahead, O'Keefe. Looking to figure it through here. Cheater is going to get it back out. And it looks like that is going to be an icing call against the Mount Pearl Blades with 4.39 left to go in the second. So we'll have our goaltending changes here now. Great game from both netminders. I'll give him a shout out here now in a second. Seems like we're having a bit of trouble with our graphic. I'll fix that up. 
Uh, so great game from Simon Russell, some big stops from him, and a fabulous game from Wesley Reed with the shutout. In the net comes Jensen King and Christian Sleep. Here's Joy coming in. Joy chips it off the boards, still going with the puck. Joy out to the point. Kennedy winds up. Fan on the shot, tries to put it on again, and he's hauled down. Now it's sent ahead. Kennedy trying to get a winter. Curls across the top. Joy brings him down, and that's going to be a penalty against the Mount Pearl Blades. It's Cameron Joy going to the box for two minutes, and it's a tripping call for him. Fired down the ice right away by the Blades. Comes down low, O'Reilly Hillier gonna pick it up. Hillier twisting away, trying to send it on goal. Comes out to the point to Kennedy, and it's intercepted. And here go the St. John's Caps up the other way. It's Pike coming in. Pike just puts it wide of the net. Dump back down low, White gonna get it. Wrap around, he scores! White on the power play. St. John's within one. Henry White tucks it in like a fitted sheet, and the Caps back in it. There's Pike, taking it back into his own end. Shipped out to center ice, Ryder looking for the puck. Pike trying to fish it out. Now sent ahead, Pike trying to keep it in. Walsh dances his way in. Pike trying to take the shot. And now here come the Blades, getting it out to center ice. Randall to Ryder, and that's going to be an offsides call with 2.42 left to go. Fired ahead by the Blades, racing after it is O'Keefe. And here he is, O'Keefe coming in, winding and weaving his way in. He tries to take the shot, and Pike catches up to him and lifts the stick. And now a collision there between Caps and Blades player. Looks like they're both okay. Here's Walsh coming in. Walsh to tie the game. He shoots, he scores! And just like that, the game is tied! Ryan Walsh puts a top shelf with Patty Daly. 2-2 tie with 2.17 left to go in the second. <laughs> Dawson banks it off the boards. Trying to play it ahead, here's O'Keefe. Coming in, O'Keefe still going with the puck. Not giving up on it, he turns and fires just wide of the net. Here's Lewis, out to the point. Keo gonna fire it back in. Now Lewis, all the way down the ice. Ivany 
gonna go after it. 145 left to go. Ivany plays it ahead, Cheater. Keeps it in, Blades are gonna send it out, and now it's O'Keefe coming up the other way. O'Keefe curls back across, takes a shot, Pearson shoots, and it's kept out just barely with 128. Look at how close that was. Wow, what a big save by Jensen King to keep this a 2-2 game. Here's Pearson playing it over Joy. Over for Burke now. And it's sent ahead. Keo trying to keep it in. Sent in Blades. Searching for the puck. Comes out to Ivany. And it's swung all the way around the wall. Burke coming in. Kept in out at the blue line by Ivany. Keo looks to keep it in. And both Blades run into each other as Basha takes it up the other side. Now Pearson taking it up through the middle of the way he goes. Pearson, he might go all the way here and a great play by Nash to keep Pearson off the score sheet. And now cleared back out by the Caps as Ivany is left to chase. Winter sneaking up behind him. Takes a dive, given away in front and it's fanned on by White. Now it's Pearson. Coming up through the middle, and a beautiful defensive play by O'Reilly Hillier. Fifield, gonna try to dump it down low, and he does. Keogh plays it ahead to Joy. Joy getting his wheels going now with eight seconds left to go. He'll dump it down low, and that looks like it's gonna be all she wrote for the second period of play. The final score after two is 3-3. Three, three. Caps make a big comeback here in this second period. Two big second period goals for them. And as we head into the third, it's 2-2 two, two in the championship game. Well, we know the uh, females have taken over this tournament this year. Well, later today is the gold medal game between USA and Canada in the World Women's Hockey Championship. And I have no doubt that the players in this tournament will be playing in that someday, especially the female players. They've been exceptional this tournament. Well, who's gonna be the hero? Next goal is a big one in this championship game. Here's Taylor over to Fifield. He'll dump it back in and Pike tried to intercept. Now Fifield will wire the puck back in and an offsides call 13 seconds in to this third period. There's Pike bringing it back into his own end. Now he starts to come forward. Here's Pike racing his way in. Walsh going to the net with him. Backhand pass in front, and it comes up through the middle. Taylor tried to break it out. Comes in front of the net. Wilson trying to put the puck on. Here's Kennedy. Walsh will lift his stick, and here's Walsh. Back around to Pike, and here's Kennedy who's going to get it. Kennedy will play it out. Five field takes a spill. And it's sent back into the zone, and 
Fired ahead for Penny. Here's Walsh coming back in. Pike trying to get the shot off. Barnes will put it on and a big save in net. Now here's Kennedy. Over to Ryder. Ryder has it. He'll swing it around for Penny. And it's played out to the point for O'Reilly Hillier. Shot comes on net. Back out to O'Reilly Hillier and it'll come out to center ice. Five field. Plays it ahead. Here's Kennedy. Now Dawson comes in for it. Squeezes out in front of the net to Burns backhander and a huge save in net by Christian Sleep. With 8.18 left to go in this third period. Again, the next goal is a big one. Let's see who's gonna get it. Comes down into the corner. Sent ahead, Caps looking to get a shot off. Lewis fires and Sleep makes the save. Comes out to the point, Hart gonna fire it back in. Comes around to Randall. She plays it forward and now Caps marching back in here. A shot from the side and it's steered just wide of the net. Barnes will send it down low, Randall. Gonna pick it up and what happened? I didn't quite catch what that whistle was for. It looks like, oh, it looks like somebody was slow to get to their feet there. Cole Norman looks like he will be okay. I didn't know what happened. I thought it was an offsides call, but Mount Pearl was the ones that touched the puck. So I was kind of not sure what happened, but luckily uh, Cole Norman will be okay. And the 7.42 left to go in the third period. It's still a 2-2 game. Up come the Blades. Coming in, Joy going to the back door. Off the crossbar! Oh my, what a shot by Liam Dawson. He almost put that one all the way upstairs. Sent down by Joy. Now it's Nash playing it out. Pearson looking to get it. Here's Nash playing it ahead. Caps take it up the other way. Joy going to race after the puck. He'll send it up to Basha. Now it comes over to Burke. Burke gave it away. Basha going to dump it back down low. Here's Keo up ahead. Puck will make its way down the ice. Looks like it's gonna start to slow as Henry Nash is gonna take the puck. Nash giving away to Burke. Burke to Pearson. Pearson shoots and puck is steered just wide of the net. Now comes out to Pearson. He fires it on, kicked wide by White. And now Joy trying to get it through. The collection of skates there in front of the net. Now here come the Caps up the other side. Moving on in is Pike. Pike coming in, shoots just wide and banks off the boards, comes back out front. Now picked up by Walsh and it's steered just wide again. There's Stag, dropping it back over for Pearson. Now away goes Pearson up the other way. He moves in and fires just up over the net. Joy out to Stag. Stag rips it in, takes a deflection and goes down into the corner. And now here's Kennedy playing it across. Caps looking to make something happen with 5.30 left to go in the third. Taylor gonna get it and send it ahead. Now Fifield with Penny on his tail. Fifield is going to dump it back into Kennedy. Kennedy sends it ahead, and now it's Walsh with it. Giving it over to O'Reilly Hillier. 
O'Reilly Hillier coming up through the middle. Hillier gonna send it in. And now a chance here for Taylor and a Claire Taylor for the Mount Pearl Blades and she's tied up by Burns. She'll get it out to Randall. And now here come the Caps up the other way. Opportunity to make something happen and Randall makes a big defensive play. Now Lewis with it again. Drop back, Penny. Looking to get it, here's Cheater. Burns is all alone! He shoots down, he scores! Burns gives the Caps the lead with 4.37 left to go in the third period. The biggest goal of Max Burns' career. It was a big save in front of the net by Christian Sleep, but then the rebound popped out and it was slammed home by Burns. And it looks like Mount Pearl is gonna call a timeout here with 4.37 left to go. That's a big goal for the Caps. That could be the thing that turns this game around for them. Russell trying to play it ahead. Now it's O'Keefe and Randall in there as well. Lewis trying to get it free. O'Keefe hard on the puck and here he is. O'Keefe wriggling away from everybody. He comes in, he shoots, he scores! Max O'Keefe, the goal of the year! Ties the game for the Mount Pearl Blades! Max O'Keefe dancing through the defense like John Travolta on Saturday Night Fever. You gotta love it. What a turnaround. Max O'Keefe came to the faceoff top with a smile on his face. You knew it was all over then when he did that. Sent ahead, now Joy. Gonna play it up, it's Burke racing in, and now Burke's coming in for Mount Pearl. Burke, here he goes, he shoots, and a big save in net by King. With four minutes left to go, it's a 3-3 game. And let's check our blood pressure, folks. What a game this has been. Even if you're watching as a neutral, you're into it for both teams. Brooke, off the faceoff, puts it up over the net. Minimal time left to go. The next one, next, my goodness, minimal time left to go. The next goal is a big one. Here's P Pearson taking it up ice. Winter gonna intercept and now here he goes. Winter plays it ahead. Trying to get it back. Joy is gonna race after it and away he goes. Joy coming in and Winter gets back to strip the puck away from him. Look at the crowd here at DF Burns Arena down in the main lobby area. It is absolutely packed. There's layers of people down there in that corner. Here's Joy trying to get the puck. Pike hovering around. Pike pressuring after Keo. Keo twists away. Here's Pike with it again. Pike going for the wraparound, hauled down by Pearson. Pearson takes it up the other way. It's a five on four now for the Blades as they lead the charge. And Pearson going around two. He's going up against Nash and a big defensive play from him. Plays it ahead. Pike going in. Keo catching up. And Keo will get there first. Now Nash, he'll send it back in. Walsh is going to get it. Ivany lifts the stick of him. And he'll intercept the puck and play it over. Ryder up to Joy, redirected down, and Nash is gonna go after it.
Nash has it on the side. Trying to play it up. Stag looking to keep it in, and he does. Now dropped over to Taylor. Out to the point to Stag. Stag whips it in. Shots blocked. And is cleared all the way out as Kennedy tries to play it back in. Here's Ryder moving in. Drops it off. And it makes its way out as Kennedy is going to get it. Here's Nash. Sending it out. Burns. Caps avoiding a, too many players on the ice call there. Played ahead. Pike almost got an opportunity. Just a minute 45 left to go in the Abbey Newark Division Championship game. Essentially next goal wins in this one. What a finish to this game. This is going to be. Here's Lewis with the shot blocked in front. Now it's Penny. Trying to bring it forward. Five field. Going to keep it in out at the point. Stag sends it ahead to O'Keefe. Here he is for his hat trick. O'Keefe making his way in. He gets it again and shoots. And it's there. Out in front and cleared by Cheater. Oh my, a close call. Now O'Keefe. Taylor just wide. Here's Pond. Shoots and it goes up through the middle. Here goes Burns. Had the latest goal for the Caps. Looking to make something happen again. It comes out to Dawson. Now it's Lewis taking over. Lewis racing in. Kennedy will intercept. Winter up ahead. Here come the Mount Pearl Blades with an opportunity. Dawson going to dump it in. O'Reilly Hillier now with it. 30 seconds left to go. Here's Pond. With the puck, gave it away, and now the Caps trying to take it up. White. Look to play it ahead, O'Keefe, and there to try to get it. Here's Winter. Folks, we might see overtime in the Abbey New Hook Division championship game. Here's O'Keefe racing after it. White gonna turn it back. Dawson, now the Caps for one more chance. Five seconds. Winter to Basha, the clock is ticking. Basha in front and a save at the buzzer. We're going to overtime in the Abbey Newhook championship game. Well, five minute overtime, the thing that has haunted the Caps for so many seasons in this tournament. They just can't let it go to a shootout. The fans on their feet at DF Burns. Five minute overtime to decide the winner of the Abbey Newhook Division Final. So here we go, five on five to determine the winner of the Abbey New Hook Division Championship. Next goal wins. This is the tournament where legends are made. Here's Pearson taking it in. Pearson racing in for the championship just wide of the net. Now it comes out to Joy, sends it over to Pearson. Pearson, beautiful moves. Pike gets in the way and blocks that shot. Up to Walsh. Walsh with a beautiful move around Pearson. Now Walsh coming in again. Walsh moves in and it's an offsides call with 4.28 left to go in this overtime period. So if there's no goal after these five minutes, it's a shootout. 
Let's see what's gonna happen. Here's Joy playing it ahead. Sent back in, Burke gonna try to get it. Now it's Pearson. Pearson coming up the other way. Cheater gets a big stick in the lane to end the threat. Sends it down. And it looks like it'll just slow down in time to give Mount Pearl a chance to get a change here. Here comes Walsh up the other way for the Caps. Sent in, here's Pike to win it all. He shoots and a big save. And now it's Keo racing away and we have a whistle. Looks like referee Ethan Power lost sight of the puck with 3.55 left to go. Burns wins the face off through. Burns gonna get it again, he shoots, Cheater's there, and it's kept out. Now Cheater again in front, they score! It's over to St. John's Caps, the golden goal, and the Caps return to glory in 2024. William Lewis is the hero, St. John's, the title is coming back. For the first time since 2019, the St. John's Caps are on top of Newfoundland hockey for the under nine division. It's an overtime winner from Lewis and the biggest goal of his career, but the Mount Pearl Blades coming in as the underdogs come out on top and win and win the hearts of all the fans for all their efforts out here in this tournament. Folks, I gotta take off to present the Jamie Hines Grit Award. I'll be back, what a great game from both teams. A phenomenal finish to this Abbey Newhook division. Folks, be sure to be kind to one another, stay safe. We'll keep the stream rolling during the award ceremony.
And just to be clear, everybody who gets nominated for this award, since it's such a select group of kids, everybody gets a certificate and a $10 Tim Hortons gift card. So let's hear it for that, everybody. One more time, let's hear it. 